Here, uh, you can see I've machined these magnesium cups, and this is the water glass, sodium silicate, that's crystallized in here. You can see it's real sticky. And uh, we're just going to put it in here and rub it around and get it on the bottom. Because we're going to follow the procedure exactly. Just we're going to use magnesium for this. And then uh, we'll show you the next step. We're going to put a paper insulator in the bottom of this. So here's another cup. So we're going to form two at once in a special field, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, hold on for the next portion of this video. Here's your Rigel salts. Right here. This is a chemical grade. Okay, so I'm going to put two spoons in the mortar and test them. Like that, and what I'm going to do is grind that up. Mix it real good. Two and a half spoons. I'm going to mix that up. And here's your doping. This is left over from years of transistors, and that's galena, iron pyrite, bismuth. We're only going to take just a little bit, about that much. Put that in there. Remember, the sodium silicate's already in there. Now we're going to just mix this all up. Now I want you to notice the color. Okay. So now that's our mixture. I'm going to grind it up real good. And then as soon as I get the electrodes done, I'll show you. And we'll continue this. And the next part is to... Uh, I told you to cut it so the material can get around it. And I'm just going to bend these out a little bit like this. So it sort of looks like the base of a tree. I don't want it to go down in here. I'm trying to get closest surface area in here. So the next step then is going to be heating the material and uh, pouring. And then we'll condition these cells. And I'll show you that. So this is once again one to fit down in there like that. So an insulator at the bottom and this in here. Okay, next will be the pouring. So, here we are heating the material. You can see I'm just going to heat this. You can see it boiling in there.
want it pretty melted. Let me mix this up a little bit. I get this nice and gooey, see? The white will remelt. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because you want the crystal. like then the rest will pour in the top. It really is a two-handed operation. Like I said. There's the crystal you don't want. Yep, that's right. So, we'll clean this out. We'll start over, Jeff. Now I'm going to be conditioning this. So this is without conditioning right now. It's pretty still tacky here and hot. So I'm going to get the voltage on this meter that the cell is putting out. You can see here it's one and a half volts. So now I'm going to put this 2.2K resistor in line and another set of clippers here. Okay, so I'm going to come from the 12 volt battery to this 2.2K And then to ground. I'm just going to go to ground here and watch the wall meter. It's rising up, right? Should be doing it very slowly. Can you see that? Okay. So it's rising up, and I'm just going to leave it like that till it cools. I want to form those crystals. Now, the reason you see this here is because the next conditioning process will be to condition these in an AC magnetic field. Okay, I hope this helps. This is how I did it. 